to um, just how long it takes to draw a spray head out uh, using um, uh, scan data or um, basically bringing Grasshopper into the equation. Um, so what I'm doing here, these are, that's the rear bar, middle bar, front bar of a spray hood, the base curve, a point where we want the wing to come to, or side screen, and a point that will control the ISO curve, just basically put to the corner. So this data could have been um, plotted with a pro liner, or it can be traced with um, from a scan um, using a, an iPhone scanner or um, a scanner that uh, um, basically a laser scanner. And that's where I've obtained this initial data from. So um, I'm going to open up Grasshopper. So nothing is drawn in here apart from the, um, the initial data. And I'm just going to turn Grasshopper on. Well and behold, it's drawn a spray hood. That quick, that's instant, um, just been drawn straight away. This is our control panel for the software. So what it's done here is um, it will show me if the frame is symmetrical or if not, and I can measure the differences. So um, we will recover at the moment if any works on the symmetrical design, but this will show us the differences and we can make a decision. And the people I've worked with, where we looked at ProLiner data, these are the sort of um, uh, inaccuracies that you get where you trace around. So this, this will clean all of that up. So here we have we have the spray hood. Um, it is around the curves. Um, so all it was a case of is putting those curves onto the um, the relevant layers. Um, so what can we do with this? Um, if I wanted to change that to a two bar design, maybe take that third bar out. Okay. That third bar now is is not being used. It's just a two bar design. Um, these lines here are just guidelines for our ISO curves. So it's coming from that point, and by moving this, if I was to move this, I can change the ISO curves. Okay. Um, so let's be devil's advocate. Let's be the awkward customer. So could we change this to a two-bar design um, or three-bar design? We've we've done that. Can we adjust the spray of windows? Let's go to two windows. There we go. Um, can we increase the width for the um, uh, centre pillar? Um, so we can just increase that like that, and that will increase the width for the centre pillar. Um, bottom window offset, if we want that a little bit higher, we can do that. Um, can we put some windows in the wings or let, let's have a look at what else we can do. We don't want filleted corners. We can just turn them on. We can turn them off. If we want to move this edge further away. We can do all of that. Um, so if I want to adjust this, I can do the radius on the corner windows. Um, bring this in. I've got complete control over what we do on here. Um, extra windows. Let's put some windows in the wings. Let's just hit a button. This line here is where we would put a zip if we were going to add a cockpit enclosure. Let's have a look at putting a window in the roof. Let's put some windows in the sides here. OK. Um, devil's advocate with the customer. Can we go back to a, uh, a free bar design? There we go. Can we make that window wider? Um, Yes, we can. OK, so that's the spray hood. That's how quick and easy. Obviously, it needs to be flattened. And um, we have written um, uh, a piece of software to do that as well, um, although that's not embedded into this. Um, let's go back. And what I'm going to do is if I want to do a new design of spray hood, completely new and new frames. Um, so all you're seeing over here is guidance notes about what needs to happen. So whoever's using the software um, will know uh, the next step. So if we were um, going to do a new spray hood, I'm going to turn these layers off, spray hood recover. OK, and um, what we have to draw are pointers, uh, points that will indicate where the um, uh, 
uh, we're wanting the canvas to go to. So I can just come over to here and I can change this at the top. OK, um, I can just go to a spray with new frames. That's now drawn a completely new spray hood and it's. Um, right, so what's it done this time? Wherever I put these points. Are where the bars go. And it works out the geometry. So wherever I put this point. It will work out the geometry so the frame folds to that position. So if I want it to fold to there, it's re-engineered all the geometry. So if this had to fold in a specific place, if you look here, it will move the framework. Spray it is, is um, re-engineered. Um, so we can um, adjust various bits and pieces on here, such as the spray hood feet and the frame. Um, let's take that up to a free bar design. With a free bar design, it will use that point there. So if I just click on a free bar design, it's drawn that up as a free bar design. The windows disappeared. All I need to do is um, just adjust this parameter here until I get the window back. OK, so just showing this isn't finished yet, um, it, 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 uh, but we're very, very close. So you see what this does here. That's zip um, for a cockpit enclosure. Um, the frame will fold to where I tell it to fold. It will work out the mounting feet. Um, where I put the service, where I um, want to mount the mounting feet. Um, that's all drawn on layers that are turned off. So even though you're not seeing it, um, this will actually generate the frame profile and uh, um, uh, the frame pattern and everything um, as well. Um, so this spray looks a little bit boxy, so we can change the, um, uh, the framework. So. Let's put a bigger radius in the corners. Let me just get an orth uh, orthodox view on this. So let's put a, a bigger radius on the corners. You give it a little while and it should recompute that. So that's softer. Um, you may want to increase that even more. OK, if a geometry um, can't compute, that's because we're outside of the um, uh, basically. We program this that you can't um, mount a clamp off the curvature of the frame. So if you try and do that, it will break on purpose. Um, we want to restrict the clamp to coming off straight to the, um, the, the um, framework. OK, um, we might want to put more slope on the sides of that, lean it in. OK. We may want to extend the wing back if we move this point on here. We can move the wing. Um, change the windows all as we did before. Um, so yeah, I, I can change everything on here. Let's narrow the framework even more. I've put even more of a slope on the side of that. If we want a more curvature on the top, let's have a look at that from the front. So I put bigger radius on the corner, lent the sides in, um, put more of a curve on there. I could extend the wings if I wanted to. This is giving me the heights from the cockpit floor as long as I have a line on a relevant layer in the CAD. Um, but that has all been drawn from, if I just turn this off now, solution, disable solver. That's all been drawn from that. I'm just going to turn this off from that. So we've got the base curve. We got the error from a scan or proliner that the feet can mount from. And we've put the points where we want the frameworks um, to, to, to mount. Um, and if I move these, When I redraw the spray hood, let's let's say we want to come back 100 millimeters and put more of a slope on there. 
If I turn that on now. It will redraw to those points. So I've put more of a slope on the front. If I drag those points again and drag those back. Seconds. Let me make sure we get this right. I picked that up from the wrong position. But yeah, if I if I drag these points back. Let's just try that again. It will recompute to those points. So one more go. And what I want to do is you look here, it's moved as far back. I So I've got a much sleeker sprayer now. If I was to extend extend do the same the other side and recompute second it would extend the wing back. Okay, so I've got more of a slope. Um, but that's only part of the story. Um, OK, so if we want to put a cockpit enclosure on there, we need a little bit more geometry, not much. Um, we need the perimeter curve around the base. We need a point where we want the rear bar and the forward bar. And um, where we want the mounting foot service. I'm just going to edit this sprayer back to where it was because this line needs to attach to the zip. Um, so I'm just going to do control Z. Okay. Control Z once more. Okay. So for an enclosure, base curve, mounting foot service. Um, this is just if there's a winch that's sticking into the model and these points. And all I need to do. So you've seen a lot more controls on here. I can move the wing by sliding this up and down. Um, OK, I can adjust all of the windows and I can also save various versions of the model. So if any of you are my customer and you're coming in. Um, and I decide that I want to. I've done two or three different mock ups. I can save them and then just by restoring them, I can bring back um, that 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 stage of the model. So I'm um, going to add the cockpit enclosure. What that's done is brought me up another interface, which is relevant for the cockpit enclosure. And lo and behold, it's just drawn it. It's just drawn it because that's my point. That's my point for that frame. Same routine, if I move those points. OK, so um, sometimes it can be easy just to turn the salt um, grasshopper off because it's trying to compute as I move them. So let's say we want those to come back. 150. And we want them to go up. A hundred. Now if I turn grasshopper back on. There we go. That's the cockpit enclosure. Um, again, I can adjust everything on these controls. So I can adjust the um, zips. So if I want to make the back door wider, I can move. OK, 
and I can move it at the top as well. I, I can basically change um, any part of this I want to. See, I've moved the bottom of the window up higher. Um, it's I can move the zip. It's all um, relevant um, parametric. And if I flatten the cockpit enclosure, this isn't finished yet. But you you can see um, it's already drawn the pouch. Uh, first roof panel, match marks, pockets, and um, second roof panel, um, back door. A lot of it's been done automatically, and it will also give us the frame templates as well. And if I bake that, it all comes in on the right layers. That's our cockpit enclosure frame. Okay, and there's a box there to put the boat model. That's the spray hood framework model. They're all on the relevant layers. Um, I think that basically covers it.